Hello everyone, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, Luke. We're going to be going over some things today about the console tab. This is the console tab. Um, some people ask me why my field of view is so wide, and uh, it's that wide because I want it to be that wide. But uh, to do that, I have to edit some settings and use the console tab for that. So, uh, once you have the console tab open, you can change FOV to literally anything you want. This is field of view 10. It's very, 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 very small. You can't see anything really. And uh, yeah, oh man, it would be so hard to play like that. <laughs> FOV on the console is set at 70. So right now, here's console field of view. Um, that's the lowest field of view that the game will allow you to take using their standard UI. Uh, you can only go from 70 to 110. But with uh, the console tab you can take it below obviously see now we're 10 below the minimum and if we look at that uh, it says we're at 60 here but we can take it up and it will just go uh, up to 72 and then it will only allow us to go back down to 70 but we can also take it higher than uh, usual see uh, we'll just open that Ah, open that, and uh, I can take it up to like, you know, 180 or something silly. So, now when I go into my options and video, uh, it looks silly. I guess it maxes at 175, huh? Alright, so, we'll just leave it at uh, 120 because that's about where I like it. There we go. Perfect. Some other things this will allow you to do are take a screenshot by just typing shot, for example, and then you can see that it says my screenshot was saved. Um, you can do it right here so that you don't get everything in there. And you can also toggle your HUD. And then that'll take away your health values and shield and all that, ammo count, and experience bar. So. That's pretty neat. You know, I like that if you just escape, your HUD comes back, your heads up display. There's a few other things it'll allow you to do. Uh, you'll be able to take a tiled screenshot, and there's some different tutorials on how to do that and stuff. But I'm going to show you guys today how to find and access the console tab. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open a Windows viewer or a file viewer rather. Um, to do that, hold the Windows key and press E. That will open my computer for you. I have Borderlands 2 installed on my C drive. That's my solid state. You can see that it's real small. Uh, then you're going to go into Users, your name, whatever your particular username is. Mine's Luke. And then you're going to go to My Documents, My Games, and then Borderlands 2, Willow Game, Config, and then you'll be here. So again, this file path is users, your name, my documents, my games, Borderlands 2, Willow Game, and config. I'll be sure to save this file path uh, as the first line of the description for you guys. Then you'll be able to go to Willow Input, and you'll be able to scroll down to find the engine console. As you can see right now, my console key is set to tilde and my type key is set to backslash. Um, here is what yours will look like if you haven't edited yet. They will both say undefined. And so to find that, like from the start of the page, for, let's say, you would just click here, hit control F, and type console key. And it'll take you right to it. So, you would then go and change this to a key that you're not using. I recommend tilde and this one, which is the mini console tab, to backslash. And then you would save that, same file name, you would just hit save, and then that would be then saved is the Willow input. It says the last time I edited it was right now, so that's cool. Um, yeah, that's how you do it, and then once you're in game, you'll be able to, I think you'll have to restart Borderlands if it's your first time doing it, but you'll be able to access the console tab by pressing that button, or the backslash button for the smaller console tab. You can set them to other keys if you want to, and uh, it's pretty cool. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of it anyway. It uh, helps me.
my field of view just a little bit higher and I appreciate that. So anyway, I thank you guys for watching. You know, I very much appreciate that, guys. Have a great night. Uh, well, <laughs> you might not be watching it at night. If you're watching it in the morning, have a great day, guys. Bye. Please subscribe to me if you haven't yet. I'd appreciate that.